I get a fair amount of questions about my makeup. I have started just doing the same makeup look in all of my videos practically. So I wanted to come on and show you guys what I do. So if you're interested, keep watching. <laughs> And I'm using this Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation. Been using it for years. Love it. It's so pretty. It has such a nice finish. The coverage isn't great, so you're going to need a concealer if you want to really cover any blemishes, but I really like it. It has such a beautiful skin-like finish. Oh yeah, I do now. Oh, I do. Okay, so <laughs> I'm taking that skin finish powder on my eyelids just because I don't want any wahala when I'm blending the eyeshadow. I want the eyeshadow to blend seamlessly. It's the same routine though. I'm just speeding through it now. Um, I've been doing my brows the same way for years <laughs> because your girl is not a makeup artist and she just does what she can. Now, I, it's like I want to set my brows with this tinted brow gel. <sighs> okay, well, I usually use a like a clear brow gel. I don't know why I'm using a tinted brow gel for this one, but it's okay. Transition color, I love this palette so much. It's like my everyday palette. So I'm just blending that color into the crease area, sort of blending it up. And it's warm, but it's not as warm as the transition shade I used to use. So, you know, baby steps. We're getting better every day. And then I'm going to take this dark brown shade in the crease and in the outer corner. And just to catch you up here, the transition shade I used is called Serve. And the shade I'm using in the outer corner and in the crease is called Strong. What's making me laugh here? <laughs> Okay, we are blending, blending. It, it takes a long time to blend just because you want it to look really blown out. You don't want it to look harsh, particularly if it's daytime or it's still light out. You don't want to look like, um, you don't want to look somehow. So you just blend everything very patiently. Oh, you blend. Okay, so now I'm taking that same color I used in the first place on my lid and I'm just patting it on the, like, what, which parts now do you call that? You saw where I put it, Sha. And then we just blend again, just back and forth, blending, blending. Blending, 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 blending. Okay, so now I'm using my concealer. This is a different, this is a different shade. This is butterscotch. I love this highlight so much. It's like the perfect highlight shade. It's a bright under eye, but it's never ashy, which is hard because I feel like I have a very golden undertone. So finding that perfect highlight is not an easy task, but Too Faced has done it. They have done it. I now want to contour, and this is like a cool dark brown. You just blend that out. It's the ABH foundation stick in Cool Earth. And I feel like you have to work kind of quickly with this because it does set relatively quickly. And I take whatever's left on my brush and do my forehead. Now for the setting powder. I'm using Buttercup by Sacha Cosmetics. Been using this for years. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Overdo, see? Oversabi. I've now put the the powder in my eyebrows, in my eyelashes. So now I'm just trying to fix that problem, brushing it out of my brow and then going over with the brow gel. Now I'm gonna warm up that face. I'm using this Sun Power powder by MAC, like I would use a blush kind of. So it's just gonna warm that face up a little bit. And I like the dimension it gives to the contour. Now I'm using a gel liner in the waterline. I like using gel liner better than eyeliner because the staying power is just on another level. Now I'm doing my wing liner with the Fenty liner. You guys, you need this liner. Something about it makes your wing liner so much easier. I never really struggle with it, but even I am like, okay, this is just, something about this is just easy. 
My girlfriend recommended it to me and I'm like using it every day now. So I recommend this jaw. And so now I'm just applying mascara, lower lashes using telescopic. What is making me laugh? <laughs> okay, so I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold palette in Bar of Gold. This is my favorite highlighter. Besides Becca Opal, this is no doubt my... Uh, uh. You are now doing your ears. Come and see forming. Forming for YouTube. Now, wow. Okay, so I'm... <laughs> I never do that. I don't know why I did that for this video, but I do actually highlight my nose bridge and my chin. So that's accurate. Now I'm using lashes. This is the Wispy model in, I think, either Cherish Look or Cherry Blossom. They're identical though. It doesn't matter the brand, but both of those brands make the same Wispy lashes and they look pretty identical to the Red Cherry lashes. So I'm now spraying my face with Tasha Dewey Skin Mist and lining my lips with Chestnut Lip Liner. Yeah, so, oh yeah. So these are both NYX lip colors. I'll link them down below. I don't remember their names. Now you just, you begin to air out your hair and we are finished. By the way, I'm obsessed with this shirt because these are all the things I hate in this earth and they're crossed out on the shirt. So you just, you know, it's right there for you. See where I stand, you know? So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for spending time with me today. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.